welcome back to my channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new please do hit like share and subscribe Virgo happy birthday now we're coming to the end of September Virgo season so if you have a birthday today happy birthday um, all right let's get into this reading first I just want to say my personal readings are open so if you want to book a reading click on the link in the description box below go to my website and book your reading there okay so virgo we're going to take a look at the rest of september going into august to see what the love messages are for you okay um yeah all right let's see so the first card that popped out obviously is very soon someone's making a decision here uh, about what to do clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay this might have a little bit of uh, resonating from yesterday's reading making up a making a decision so I feel like somebody here is definitely making a decision about what they want in their life as far as a relationship goes and that you know has to do with you Virgo what else do you have here letting go of control issues okay so i feel like there was someone that you may have connected with or you may be connecting with who's very controlling um and just kind of like trying to dictate or direct the way uh, a relationship or a situationship i don't know why i said situationship i hope you're not in that but trying to direct the way um things should go because they were undecided so i feel like you may have had a connection or currently do with a person wow i don't know where my other tarot deck is with a person who um maybe kept you hanging on because they couldn't decide um they may have just kind of danced around you or danced around a relationship because they weren't sure they couldn't make up their mind about whatever being committed being in a relationship couldn't maybe they were looking at other options but I feel like that was a way of controlling this relationship and now it seems like somebody here is letting go of these control issues allowing things to just unfold naturally to make a decision now okay so someone is making a decision here all right so some of you might have asked somebody you know had that conversation well where is this relationship heading what are we uh should we keep dating or should you know and and i feel like perhaps there was an energy of like well i'm not sure or i'm still undecided or i don't want to commit but i don't want to lose you and a lot of that energy i feel like was playing out maybe playing out still but going through the rest of september into october there's definitely going to be a shift here i feel like somebody is making up their mind okay so let's get into this reading and see what other messages are showing up here okay yep the talk is coming clarity there's communication happening here with someone okay you're getting some truth from somebody here this is like for me uh, well not often but as of right now they just gave me a light bulb <laughs> i'm seeing a light bulb like i have an idea a light bulb moment aha okay so this is definitely victory clarity truth so i do feel like there's going to be conversations that are going to start that somebody's going to initiate a conversation with you about a decision that they're making let's get more into this and see what else is going on here okay hmm yeah somebody here is strategizing we have a lot of sword energy so there could be a connection with an air sign so this is strategizing this is like okay how can we do this um negotiations and talks it's a very intellectual um verbal kind of a thing going on someone speaking from the mind not so much of the heart but speaking from like their thoughts and ideas and trying to figure out a way to make something work here with you and this is coming from them okay if you notice this person in this picture wait let me see if i can get a good focus because sometimes my camera wants to work you see in the background there on the right there are two sorts 
um, which means compromise, making a decision, okay? And carrying these five swords means that this person is shutting out and cutting out distractions, okay? In order to resolve some issues here in a connection. Okay, let's see what else is going on. What else does Virgo need to know about this person? Wow, yeah. So, wow, look at all this sword energy. It's amazing. Three of swords here, okay? Um, hmm. I feel like this person is trying to recover. Remember I was saying there's two swords here. So I feel like this person, and, and look, to these two swords here, one sword here, having some conversations about somebody's going to tell you they're sorry if they, you know, broke your heart or if they caused discord or arguments or, um, you know, uh, trouble. <laughs> you know, if they, uh, there's apology as well for, it's a verbal apology for um, any backstabbing or anything that they might have done. If there was a third party or any kind of cheating, I feel it just feels like somebody here whom you're connecting with, they're coming in with a broken heart as well. This person, why does this person have a broken heart? Okay, yeah, so this person kind of, all right, what's the word they're giving me? It feels like in doing what they're, I'm hearing, in doing what they did, let me see if I could, <laughs> in doing what they did, they actually broke their own heart. Because why? Maybe you left or you said you're not, you know, it's, there might have been a separation or you walked away from something, right? Uh, this person came in with that Knight of Wands, and I feel like they're coming in now with that same passion and energy to resolve this relationship or resolve whatever problems had occurred in this connection, okay? Hello, focus, hello. I feel like my my screen has ADD, there we go. Okay, so now that's the first fire energy you have here. So this person's coming in with like a very strong, passionate desire. Some This person, whoever they are, they could be a fire sign, an air sign, they are very, um, passionate about you and the intensity with which they're coming in to talk with you is quite profound. It, it might even kind of, I want to say sweep you off your feet in a, not, but like not in a romantic way, but kind of like, wow, whoa, like you, like a, like a wind, a gust of wind that just knocks you off your feet. Okay. Ten of cups. Yeah. This person like they're coming in with this happily ever after here. I feel like <laughs> I just heard I choose you, Pikachu. What the, what the heck? Okay. I, I don't know if there was a decision between two people. There might have been um, an other type of third party interference. So that for some of you, that could have been other external influences like other people, places or things that this person was making a priority in their life over you. Why was this person like that? There was a lot of avoidance, okay? I always say there's only two reasons why someone isn't able to attain what they want. One, they fear they're not worthy of it, or two, they just don't want it bad enough. Now, in your case, it could be one of those, but there could also have been other ex accentuating circumstances or obstacles that was blocking this person from moving forward with you, okay? It seems to me, or they may have put obstacles in between the two of you. They might have done that on, on purpose. That might have been part of the control issue, okay? So it feels like this person is coming in for that full commitment, joy, happiness, you know, completion and love and emotion um, with you. Okay. So expect a conversation from someone from, there's your sign, from this time as you're listening to the reading going into October, there's going to be a big shift and a, tr a tell-all, truth and a tell-all. Okay. So Virgo, you have the nine of pentacles. That's your energy. You're, I just heard building in silence. You're doing you. 
you have this thing with yourself where some of you are doing like your level up in your life or you're continuing on with that working very hard i mean you're looking really really good virgo some of you got out of a relationship or removed yourself from the situation and um for a time uh, to work on self and you may have gone into deep reflection I know we've been talking about that and especially in the mercury retrograde that energy may have been playing out for you like what do you want what are you working on what are you working towards um, yeah I, so for some of you I, you know I'm not picking up a past past person this could have just been someone that you were dating or talking to for not a very long time for others you know, it, it very well could be the person that you just, whoever it is that you have on your mind at this time, that is what should be resonating for you, okay? Or you should resonate with in this reading. Let me see, okay? Yeah, Virgo, I, I just feel like your, your position right now in your life and what's going on with you is you're like looking out on the horizon. You're making plans for your future you're looking to see maybe do some traveling you're i just kind of feel like you're living your best life and you're not looking back you're looking forward to see what's out there what else is out there in your life okay uh let's see virgo maybe that is kind of lighting a fire under somebody's butt about the connection um, some of you might have just said, yeah, I'm going to let go of control issues too and make a decision to just keep moving forward, you know, moving on. And, you know, there could, there's always a cause and effect. So keep that in mind. Okay. But it looks to me like, oh yeah, like eight of cups. Some of you just temporary, some, some of you, not all of you, some of you temporarily separated yourself from a relationship, situationship or something so that you can follow your your heart's desire follow your dreams okay eight of cups can be a card of temporary separation with always with a return so some of you just kind of uh or somebody here one of you virgos is just focusing on self looking um looking at the moon making your wishes setting your intentions for what you want for your life your personal goals in your life and you know that kind of energy and really not trying to um chase down any kind of relationship at this time right so some of you i just feel like you looked i'm hearing look looked away some of you just decided to look away or look the other direction look in the other look in a different direction okay yeah so four of pentacles so virgo you're definitely right now in this position of what's mine is mine <laughs> and i'm not I'm not opening that up to anything or anyone until I know that it's right for me or that it's a bloody stump moment, <laughs> you know? Um, I feel like if somebody comes to your door or reaches out to you, you know, you're gonna, you'll open the door, but your heart is blocked. Look at that. You're, you might be more like deflective, but you're very grounded, I see, in any decisions that you're going to be making. This person is coming in though pretty damn quickly with the Knight of Swords. Um, fast communication, a lot of communication, a lot of conversation. They want to talk to you. They want to open up. They want to either tell you like to strategize, re-strategize something, to figure something out. You know, um, there could be an apology or just some conversation about, okay, interesting, just some conversation about, you know, external parties, involvement, um, conversation about them, you know, hurting you or breaking your heart, that kind of thing. Um, if they are aware, if you told them or if you tell them, you know, um, that they put you on the back burner and that was very hurtful. King of Swords is here. So you guys, I was talking about a lot of air energy. This person could have air placement in their chart somewhere very strongly. It could have um, air in their Venus or in their moon, or they could be an air sign or just be presenting air in rising as someone who presents like an air sign very intellectual conversation um, a lot of opening up and a lot of truth telling coming forward here Virgo so what you do with that some of you might just say sorry it's too late the door is closed and so is my heart 
and some of you might just kind of sit there with that closed door and closed heart and sit on the step and say you can't come in but if you want to talk I'm not opening my heart but you can talk I'll listen <laughs> hello hello focus yeah so up to you Virgo you can change the outcome of these readings of course let me just take a look and see <clears throat> Island time. Okay, the Phoenix. New phase, rekindling, renewal. Okay, transformation, growth, changed mind. All right, so that is definitely the energy playing out here on both sides. Some of you might have changed your mind and you're walking away, and this person has changed their mind and they're coming in. Okay, um, or you might change your mind about this situation or give someone another like an opportunity to maybe talk. I don't see you opening your heart back up. I don't see you jumping back into anything with anyone or pursuing anything here. Okay, but the, I do feel like a rekindling is happening. So that's like someone's trying to light the, the, the wick, the candle, the light. Someone's trying to reignite something here with you have a new phase here with you start over or, or just have growth and change okay i like you all right so this person likes you they want to so romance is blooming fun flirting this person wants to date you um they still want to date you <laughs> if you're dating somebody currently and there's kind of been a blip on the radar um or this is uh, someone like i said that you had a connection with prior this person still has a thing for you okay they like you they want to continue this romance so that it blossoms and blooms would be you know they want to flirt they want to you know date you more exclusively try to get something going here with you oh my goodness wedding rings okay union yeah ten of cups is here so i do feel like this person does want to have that happily ever after with you you are it for them okay uh marriage soul connection eternal love everlasting promises gosh virgo gosh 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 um you're just gonna have to let this play out i just saw the spying online card under the deck here and then i shuffled it so this person might be watching you also the past returns here um you have endure and be patient victory recognition and applause okay so somebody's definitely recognizing you uh, or seeing your victories your recognition they're watching somehow some way they see or they hear or somebody's telling them or people are talking to them about you or they're asking questions or you're presenting as someone who's in a victory i see someone standing in like a victory pose somehow some way um love offer there's the spying and deception okay yeah so i feel like somebody's just kind of been hiding and trying to they've been i'm hearing sneaking a peek to see how you're doing and they're loving it they're really loving it you know what they're loving that you are like i'm fine i don't i don't need you <laughs> i want you but i don't need you um they see people who are you know, you, they're looking at, at you like, that's a six of wands energy. They're looking at you like, you know, you're getting recognition or you're on like this victory path or people that you've got support and people su are applauding you. And I feel like they want to, they want a piece of that. They want a piece of you. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? You talking to me? You want a piece of me? Talking to me? You want a piece of me? That's what I feel like is going on here. Okay, material wishes being granted. Hmm, interesting. Some of you are going to get a birthday gift or you're going to, this person's going to, okay, either this person's buying you a house or a car, <laughs> which maybe they will. Um, I feel like, like Virgo, I mean, listen, I mean, I know you're all sensuous and, you're peaceable and you're loving but you do have things you have a lot more than this other person has like it feels like like you're one thing we know about virgo right you show up as a king and queen of pentacles you do have your abundance and you do have your material abundance material wealth okay um now i'm not saying this person is looking for a sugar mama or sugar daddy okay but they're 
there is, you do show your success, you wear it in some ways, you show it in some ways, and it's very attractive to this person, because you don't come across as someone who is materialistic in the sense where you're seeking only someone for their money or their goods this person realizes they see that about you that you provide for yourself okay cupid's arrows love messages travel sweet text message so for them it's kind of like being with you and all of your integrity and your good heart and all that stuff um you know the bonus is they want to share the wealth or share in the wealth that you've acquired does that mean that this person doesn't have any wealth? No, it doesn't mean that at all. It's just that this person looks at you and they see that you are capable and that you're not a leech. I don't know why that is important to this person, um, but they view you as someone who is just not looking to be with them for their wealth or for the, the only the things that they can provide. And they're very attracted to this about you. Okay, so Cupid's Arrows is here. There's, like I said, there's going to be a lot of communication. First, it'll start with like conversation, talking about things. But then, you know, we start getting into the flirty, start getting into the love messages, the sweet texts. You know, there will be talk about some travel, that kind of stuff. It's interesting, Virgo, because I kind of feel like, I feel like, sorry, hold on. I feel like for you you're you're good you're okay i i just get a sense where you're like okay all right you know if this is a very past person that's trying to reconcile with you okay if this is someone that you've been dating okay that's fine um you could be meeting someone during this time period that i gave you and you could just start kind of talking with them and hanging out with them and meeting up for drinks and dinner and stuff like that. And then it abruptly ends throughout the course of the end of September through October. And then this person kind of makes a beeline back in your direction, right? For some of you, it's all a matter of how you just disconnect. You know, if, if, you, if somebody just disappears or goes, so they just run away or they don't say anything, or they do tell you they don't want to date, and your reaction, your reaction is everything. So if you react with calling them a hundred times a day, trying to get answers, getting angry, freaking out, all that stuff, you know, um, that was just going to kind of take a lot longer to repair a relationship because now we've added all this extra stuff to it. If you just kind of said, okay, I'm sorry, feel that way, take care, wish you all the best. For those of you who did that, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> and for those of you who did give a little sass and cause a little bit of problem, maybe that just delayed things, but it still is a return. All right, let's take a look at the Chinese signs, see what the messages are, and then we're going to end the reading. All right, year of the snake, okay, year of the goat, year of the rooster, year of the tiger, it's the eye of the tiger. The ox, year of the monkey, okay, year of the rabbit, and year of the pig, okay, so that could be you, could be your person, could be both of you, one of you, none of you, so on and so forth. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do the charms and all that stuff later next time, so I hope you enjoy this reading. Um, have a great, happy birthday, or and or a great Monday and Tuesday, and I will see you guys tomorrow.